What is up, everybody? Monster Gym Fanatic here. Today is Thursday. You're going to see this Friday, but today, the day I'm recording, the Monster Jam Showdown video game got released early. I don't know how it happened. It happened after the Big Air Edition came out um, for pre order. I got it, but I wasn't able to play it early. I think it's for PC players only. Everyone's streaming it right now. So I guess it's out early for some people. And we've gotten a lot of, you know, deep looks into what to expect in the game from, you know, a fan's perspective and not just um, questions we're asking developers. Really crappy quality leaks, which I do still have some um, leaks that don't look the best. But we're going to be showing as much as I got today. Posted something on my community today have you know questions that you wanted answered you know questions you had about the games a couple things i picked up about the game watching other people stream it we don't have a cockpit view yet we have three stadium layouts as in we have three stadium looks but when it comes to the tracks themselves there's loads of different tracks i don't know it's kind of hard to explain of course we're gonna have multiplayer um you're gonna have a place that you can test uh, your stuff out you have side by side racing and of course you can do freestyles with people uh kind of links into the multiplayer and then there is a lot of cool things i'd like to mention about the liveries there's some gears and galaxies that are going to be added added as in the whiplash i remember seeing a gears whiplash and then here's the gears max d so basically when you uh you know say you want to play as max d i guess when you hit it you can switch liveries so we're going to be having several different maxis you can see here the red one and then the normal one of course so there's going to be a few of those and guys that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the leaks that we have for this game this is something what i'm about to show you here you can see the post launch plan this is something that i have been wanting a monster game forever um still times to really let me down we never really got that much you know that many updates and that much action after the game came out but it seems that they are going to be updating this game quite frequently so you can see here the post launch plan you can see that we're going to have multiplayer i already told you that the soldiers and pirates update in september again we have no clue what that could be so we can see if it's going to be something intertwining with the zombie versus hunters or something like that i really don't know what it could be but we have october a free truck pack both in october and november but we're getting a grave digger legacy so we're getting two updates two things in november which is going to be cool the aloha expansion we're probably going to be getting an island expansion i can't wait to see um the free mode track that we got i did like that about two uh still times two you had a bunch of different environments it was pretty cool um so hopefully they have a cool map as well january we're going to be having the off the leash and a free truck pack which is pretty cool um probably going to be a mutt themed uh pack when it comes to the off the leash uh, always on duty who knows what that could be but another free truck pack in february march another free truck pack so hopefully it doesn't just stop there i'm going to be addicted to having these updates we're going to be getting updates at least every month but sometimes in certain months it looks like we'll be getting an update possibly every other week which is so freaking awesome guys and what we covered before for all the new liveries and updates and new trucks that have been revealed lately that's just the tip of the iceberg there is still so much more stuff especially that just came out the last couple days of course remembering that the game is basically out for pc players so a lot of things first off blue crustacean when it comes to switching the liveries you can probably switch from blue to orange maybe even the green crustacean the rock crustacean who knows yet i don't know yet even this guys look at this isn't this like the galaxy zombie so i i'm just not seeing that that's really cool so this one's very interesting i wanted to show this first a little blast from the pla uh, past this one's a little interesting uh it's the blue thunder the og for uh, built for tough blue thunder body but it's on a newer ford f-150 body it looks like i don't know it just looks weird to me but who knows I cannot wait to use this truck in the game regardless also here's another cool one a little thematic truck the uh zombie megalodon um i said the maximum destruction will be in it here's the uh og maximum destruction a few angles of that one i really like this one i think this one wasn't really no mystery it's been in the trailers before of course the uh the first pack that we're getting i think three days before launch if you got the big air edition that just released you'll be getting this pack for free i'm pretty sure with the blue nea and backwards bob i think it's called like the odd couple or something so pretty cool um a little photo of all the trucks as well we've gotten plenty of these but you guys can point out any trucks in the background if you guys see any we have the big kahuna again i think this was already revealed but here's a closer up look of it and i think this came out today in that trailer that i showed at the beginning of the video we have an ice dragonoid so i think it's an ice dragonoid it may just be the blue one i'm not really sure it looks like we're going to be getting the uh overcast el toro loco as well that is really cool that's something that's kind of transferring over from still titans 2 because i know they had some overcast trucks in there in the inverse as 
well. So that was a pretty cool series that they did in Steel Titans 2, I will say. And the dragon, of course, is really neat. And then this is another photo that just got revealed like the last day or two. Of course, we're going to be getting the stunt truck with Flash Legend, Pirate's Curse. Excalibur will actually be in it. And I know you can see Pirate's Curse at the top. So we'll be seeing some returning trucks. But something to know, um, you can see the Jester in the bottom left. I don't know if we'll be able to switch liveries between the Jester as well. But as far as we all know right now, this is the only one in it. And that is the red, white, and blue from World Finals, which is really cool. And as you can see, the red crustacean here, or orange, whatever you want to call it. Since it's orange here, you can switch to blue. That's confirming that they, we do have both colors. And then you can see the, the modern blue thunder. And I'm assuming, you know, you can switch liveries. And I'll take you to the original before tough blue thunder. Bunch of max deliveries. Don't even know how many liveries there are for Gravedigger. I know they had the purple Gravedigger from like World Finals in 2016. And I saw two camp plays uh, messing with that truck earlier. It was really cool. And then, of course, we're going to be having Excalibur. I think it's going to be the square body Excalibur. I'm not 100% sure. Bad Company is going to be having the holographic uh, design on it, which is really cool and especially cool that it will be having the Scott Hard Sock logo uh, tribute thing on the tailgate of it. Team Throttle Monster, of course, in it. Wild Side, of course. The loading screens are awesome. When I was watching earlier, I saw the loading screens was a photo of Wild Side. So that's really cool. They're really actually favoring, it seems like, the independent trucks in this game, which I'm very happy to see as a super fan. We're all happy to see something like this. But yes, this is a really cool game. And it does look a lot more accurate now. I would say um, when it comes to the ratio to the trucks and the size of the tracks because you can look and see some gameplay you can look it up and you can see the tracks actually look pretty scaled down to the truck and that is not how it was for steel titans and you guys know that so that's always a relief to see but like i said i did get the highest dollar version possible so i'll be unlocking everything i'll be getting it three days early i wish i could have played it early like all these other guys for you i remember i got steel titans early but i do recommend going to check out tan man um just type in Man Monster Jam will take you to his channel. He's streaming a lot of the showdown uh, uh, streams right now. And then Two Cam Plays is another big one. A lot of you guys probably know him. He's a cool YouTuber. That's where I got this gameplay from. So credit to him. So what do you guys think, man? Do you think you would rank this above Steel Titans? I think I would call it a modernized version of Steel Titans. It still does give me Steel Titans vibes, if I'm being honest. I don't know why. But, you know, when I mean, you look at the graphics, it's definitely a lot better than Steel Titans. There was an iffy moment there. That's why I weren't making too many videos on it because I wasn't sold on it guys and i didn't want to cover something that i wasn't truly like into i really have not been keeping up with it so i know some of you guys may know more leaks and know have more knowledge about all the trucks coming out than me this wasn't too much a video of me trying to tell you guys every single truck that's coming out because there's a bunch more like especially the thematic trucks like there's not just two gears trucks those are just the two photos i had for you guys today in this video i mean there's gear son of a digger there's other galaxy trucks like there's plenty guys and there's plenty of fire and ice and there's plenty of everything just have to go and look through all the liveries go to see some other guys playing it and you'll know what i mean this game is really fun so i hope you guys consider it. tell me what you guys are going to be doing are you guys going to be buying it day one are you guys going to pass on this one away for the next one guys this is pretty nostalgic to me too it's just something about it i know i said it seems like uh, steel titans vibes but something about this game gives me urban assault path of destruction vibes and i grew up playing those games so this is a thumbs up in my book they really saved themselves because the physics weren't looking too good there but now that the game's out and people are playing it it looks awesome i mean there's still some things to critique about that's not what i'm here today to talk about but you guys get the point i hope you guys enjoyed let me know your honest opinions in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed these gameplay type of videos um i used to do them a lot so tell me if you want more and i'll see you guys next time peace out